Uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, however you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you're lucky enough to be doing it. So welcome back to the channel. Today, it's Light Tanker Palooza, as we have a look at two French Lady McLeodersons. This is the tier 9 award tank, that chat Aventure, which I did a review on at the uh, clan event. It's actually a great tank, but it's it's the T9 Tech Tree Bat Chat for all intents and purposes. That's not bad. It's just not the T9 Tech Tree Bat Chat by name. So you might expect something a little touch different, but I digress. What I love about these two games is that we're going to have the T9 Bat Chat and the T10 Bat Chat. And if there's one thing I love in the, the whole world, it's playing light tanks. It's obviously been a passion of mine for a long, long, long time. And that one incredible gameplay mechanic of having camo on the move can just allow you the freedom to do things that you don't get to do in any other tank. Now, this obviously comes with a tremendous price, as you can see here by the Ginge doing some very timid entry and exit around this building, the minaret in the middle of the map. And he's looking to get involved, but at the same time, he's wondering what is spotting me. And voila, we see there is, in fact, still a grub there in the KPZ. He's thinking about it. Is it worth it? One more would do it. Uh, he's not going to do it. He's thinking again. He's on a full reload. He knows that there are TDs all around him. And obviously, being a light tank in the middle of the map with lots of angles around, he is supremely popular. Now that is a very narrow target. The dispersion can go up or down a tiny little bit. And he goes for a roll again. He's thinking about running the AP, running the APCR. Went for the accuracy, didn't get it. Come see, come see. One done, no harm yet. Still full health. Uh, and the boar sig is whinging and moaning because he helped the light tank and died. I mean, you're in a boar sig. Helping the light tank is not going to do much. Uh, another shot missed, but did not take one from the Type 84, which was actually kind of surprising. The Object 84, not Type. My sorry, my apology, my many bad. Uh, nice help. This Borsig is hot. He's a pistol. He's real ready. Now, this has been a long time coming. He thought he was unspotted there. So did I. And it turns out he was not unspotted. And that miss cost him the kill it is now four tanks to five but these are not obscene odds at all we've seen this kind of business before plenty of time left in this game two and a half k four minutes to go many many hit points the borsig is still all about it and finally are we going to see the end we are the kpz 70 one pussycat two pussycat there we go that's the clip we're after three scoring shots there four tanks to three there level pegging here oh my god the borsig is still all about the chat like i said he says like i said he's thinking he thinking ap he's thinking about it he's just gonna go with what penetrates what penetrates is ap and i like it commitment to solid driving now that was a hit he probably didn't want to take i don't know why that td is Oh, he's finally looking over. Now, that's unfortunate. He's going to eat one here. But he does get the shot. Might have gone through the drive wheel. And just like that, tick. It's the turn of a screw when we're at three to one. But obviously not over yet. There's a lot of hit points left on the table. You're lucky I'm on your team. You know what I love about the ninja? Is he's supremely competent. No, says Borsig. No, not lucky. No. No, absolutely not lucky, Borsig. Borsig, not lucky. Can't pin that. Can't park that there, mate. Keep moving. Now, he knows he's going to have to go in here because the other grubs don't have the hit points to take anything. And he needs to do the business. He's the man. Big man. He's him. H-I-M. Yeah, that's right. Says the Object 84. A lot of negativity floating about this. You'd be forgiven if you think this is the North American server. I'm pretty sure it is the North American server. Uh, but it could be a you. Four sigs generally don't talk like that on Asia. They know their place. Come on. One more. And there we go. 
just an early appetizer for the main course. Now, the next vid is going to be on Kianau, which I love. It is, in fact, one of my favorite maps in the game, if not my favorite. Not a big stretch, in fact. Some of my best games ever have come on Canal. Not my highest ever damage game that was on Dead Rail. But Dead Rail, and I think I had another 8.5k and a 183 on Castilla. But here we go. My favorite spot, a man after my own heart, uh, and another Amigo that has been featured on the channel before. Now that is an aggressive move, spotting there, because obviously there are two mediums and a light tank over there, and a couple of TDs. That was very aggressive. I, in fact, I don't think he expected, Ring expected that to pop. And uh, finding that tank crossing there was a little bit of a bona fide mystery. Now, the TVP has done the whole, I'm just going to go and swap my hit points for yours thing. And that's great, uh, because our Amigo here is suffering from what we call horrific ping. And you can see there, that was pretty wild. That was a slideshow. Now, the TVP and the Caro have traded hit point pools here on the flank. And I'll be honest, I don't think the Caro really was in the wrong there. He was just moving up for a nice cup of tea on the corner. And the TVP said, no, buddy. No, 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 no. Now, Rang knows that this is not a happy place for any Amigos when you see a Type 71 coming along and rolling like thunder through that. So he's out of there. Good decision. Uh, I don't know why the Cranwagen's there, but he's going to do much the same thing. Now, Ring's got internet problems. He's got heavy tank problems. And he's now got a cap problem. T95 looks juicy. The Cranwagen has pointed it out. And Ring's going to go and do his level best to get involved. ding a ling a ling my ding a ling a ding dong Ring has come full circle. And he is happy days. This is the absolute nightmare for the T95. Because that is a very agile tank behind him. And he does not have the area to get out of this circle of death. This is unfortunately... The circle has been completed. It was a very big circle, and it's resulted in a, a buttock touching of death. And uh, this internet, wow, it is a whole other thing. A whole other issue. As he tries to cycle through, does so. We'll probably go for the reload here, unless he can find maybe a reset. But, uh, only nine points, so he's not that worried about that. Down by a tank, though. The mighty, mighty Kranwagen Hagen Dagen over there has gone the way of the dodo. And just like that, the KPZ70 says, I'm going to cash my chips in too. Thanks very much, dealer. And heads for the big lobby in the sky. Now, that is a very welcome target. If he can get three in here, this could be a big catch. And he does. Rolling just under 300 on the last one there. Didn't go to the eight. Did the right thing, uh, but almost immediately. The object 264 goes out backwards. And there is a lot of chicken left on this bone here. Three and a half K done so far. The Kranwagen, actually the Kranwagen snuck back there. I don't know who it was over there that went down. Might have been... Not sure. No, no, the Kranwagen's there. I don't know who it was before. Was it a uh, Emil? Might have been an Emil. I hate fighting against that tank there, the Type 71. I always miss my shots, but not Ring. Ring is made of standard stuff, my friend. Drive, aim, move, accelerate, panic at the disco, desperately hoping to get around this corner. You saw that was a tight turn, a hug, an almost disconsolate shrug of the shoulders as he accelerated out of the problem zone and went back looking to get angles behind. Now, I'd be very wary here. It was a second red Amigo looking for love. And he's uh, if he's looking up here, they're both in there. Now he's spotted, but he might be able to get a reset. Fortunate, no reset. Does he cross? Internet says maybe. Internet says no. The internet says we're going over here. Down goes Ring Madura. 4K. Four kills. He's been a stalwart so far. For this team on the canal tilt. What a man. You haven't been spotting. Ring. Use it. I don't know what he said. Something like that. I think it was positive. There we go. That's a reset. 
Yes, please. And one more into the bat chat. Oh, he missed. The internet had something to do with it. He's thinking about life. Well, he's paid the price of mission. He may as well get one off. And that shot was a good five seconds after he fired it. Now, is he going to jerk, jink, and zag right? He is. Like what he's doing here. He's dragging this bat chat along. He's going to have the reload done. And that bat chat should not come around that corner. Let's see if discretion is the better part of Valor here. Because the E75 is still in the cap. We know that. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room where we can do it all night and we can do it all right. 4,946 damage. 5k. The red team has been desperate to cap this thing. I don't know if there's an achievement they want to unlock. Uh, like most people to die in a cap circle in one game. They're going for it. They're after it. They're hankering for that spankering and rings. Ready to give it up. Now, which way is he pointing? He is pointing the other way. Oh, we 50M, wake up! Come on, buddy. The big... What is he doing? Oh, as Ring drives through a hill. This is a comedy of errors at the end. I honestly don't know what that 50M is thinking. He's got 50 seconds left. He can't cap it in that time. He also didn't take the shot on Big Rang here. I'm not certain why, but Rang knows that he's got to score with everything left in the arsenal to get this done. And even then, that's not going to be enough. He's got to get to it. He's got to get to it. And he's going to get busy. One pussycat. Two. Misses. Oh, well, well, well. 20 seconds to go. 12.9 on the reload. He does have his clip reload here and he is more than a one shot for that 50m who is mysteriously not moving he's gonna take one he's hit it one two and gets it what a absolutely wild and crazy time that was gg the ring the gg the ring what a legend what a wild and crazy game uh, hell of a mastery. I don't know what that E50M was doing, but well played the ring. I enjoyed it. I'm sure others did as well. And playing with that kind of ping, you deserved a little bit of luck at the end, my friend. That was wild. Enjoy. Like, subscribe. Please consider.